Katie Babs, day three here on the Power Hour on Access TV. Welcome to Rockville, and I'm with my friends in Knocked Loose. So pumped up right now. What's so up? excited for your performance. Awesome, thank Especially you. Especially after having pretty much a, a screening party for your Coachella set, because uh, me and all my friends, we didn't go. So we literally had drinks ready, had some food going, and just watched your entire set. I love to hear that. And I want to know how it felt, because obviously it's somewhere where metalheads like don't belong but you guys totally changed that. And I'm sure people were walking by being like, whoa, what the fuck is this? This is crazy. And as the set went on, people started getting crazier and crazier. I mean, it's a knocked loose show, but at Coachella, you probably didn't expect that. Yeah, I mean, we we definitely didn't. Like when we got the offer to take it, we of course, we took it no question. Like everyone was really, really stoked about it, but we didn't, we weren't going in with any expectations. We were more sort of just like, oh, this, this looks crazy on a flyer. Like. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be, you know, it'll be funny, you know, because there's, you know, it'll be, it'll be cool to just like experience the vibe of a mainstream pop fest like that, and, um, you know, I'm sure we kind of thought the set would be all right, you yeah. know, that it'd be, you know, there may be a couple people there. I but had zero expectations. Yeah, yeah, we didn't really <laughs> go in like thinking anything. We kind of just didn't really care. And then even when we were setting up, like it's not like it was, it like it, it wasn't even packed while we were setting up. And then he, had, like, our manager who was there, like, I remember him going out to tell him, he was like, it's literally, like, they can't fit any more people in the building before we play. So it was very, uh, so it was sick. a very, like, surreal experience. It, it's cool to just be able surreal. to be like, yeah, like, we played Coachella, like, no big deal. But you never see hardcore or metal bands on Coachella. So it's, I hope they add more, especially after seeing. Well, they've the had some throughout the years. It's like they scattered. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they scatter sprinkle ones. it a little bit. And we were really stoked, especially like I think that it would be something that they start to implement more mm -hmm. often and we were really stoked that like we got to be a part of like the first crop. Yeah. Because like sure. Turnstile and Code Orange has yeah. done it before and um, but really to us I feel like the flyer was the a win. Like not the only win obviously but we were like we're here and we're like the oddball of the weekend mm -hmm. and like that's enough the set could be weird but it's still like kind of like making a statement you know yeah and then for the set to go as well as it did and for them to put us on a stage with no barricade which was like yeah. super surprising you're like uh, are you guys sure you want to do this yeah <laughs> i really just would have never expected two that weekends in a, in a row yeah yeah this what was crazy and the second weekend they didn't stream the second weekend but the second weekend was crazier it was yeah. man of course they don't stream the second because weekend. I feel like I feel like well what what I've heard I'm no expert but apparently everybody was saying that weekend one is for like the influencers and the celebrities and like but then weekend two all the tickets just go to music yeah. fans yeah so weekend two was definitely more chaotic and I feel like there was a lot of like talk like oh their set was crazy you got to check it out yeah. you got to check it out so it just made it more crazy they ended up having to like call in back up for security and like <laughs> i mean you're like that's no surprise to you guys though yeah. i feel like that happens every single show we were just, but they everyone was they were, everyone was chill like there was security on stage and no one that i think the coolest thing about it the most surreal thing about it wasn't just that it was like oh we're playing coachella it was just that it was amaz an amazing show yeah in general yeah. Like, it, it was, sounded great it was the one crowd of the was best, awesome it was one mm -hmm. of the best shows we've ever played yeah it wasn't just like oh like remember when we played that pop fest and it was cool it was like oh no the attitude mm -hmm. of like a hardcore show was there so no for sure it was okay. and did you guys stay the entire weekend to go and watch people or were you guys out of there I went the there. next weekend yeah. because there was a lot that I wanted to see um, just on Saturday. Who did you want to see? We played Sunday. I wanted to see Ethel Kane really mm -hmm. bad. That was like my biggest for the weekend. And uh, Suicide Boys. Mm -hmm. um, so I kind of, so I luckily found a hotel close enough that was cheap enough <laughs> yeah. to like uh, justify going a day early. So yeah, and then Sunday, our day had a bunch of people that we wanted to see as well like yeah. Glorilla and Lotto and um I was in the 
I was watching Porter Robinson was big for me, and then Alex G on our stage was really cool. That's cool. Um, but yeah, there was there was a lot of cool stuff. I mean, over the weekend there was a, a great amount of acts that we were all into. Well, of course I have to ask about the Billie Eilish shit because that's insane. She was watching your show. Was it the none first, of us the knew first that. weekend or the second weekend that first she watched? First weekend. Yeah. And none of us knew that was happening. Yeah, we just got off she stage just showed and up? people were just like, "Billie Eilish was here," yeah. and like we didn't even know. Like I didn't see. I her didn't while she believe was there. it when someone told me You're like it's a rumor yeah somebody some my friend who was standing there was like yeah dude i just looked behind me and she was like right there and i was just like you're definitely just making that up That's and i'm crazy. very thankful i didn't see her while i was playing because <laughs> yeah. you might have been like holy shit yeah i would have yeah. just been like that's a that's a famous person right there. That is a very that's famous right. person. Yeah. Super yeah. famous. If there, was, if there was no, like, video evidence, I don't know if I would believe it. I wouldn't A have. lot of people said that Travis Barker watched, but there's no photos, so I don't believe it. I don't believe mm. it. But we did, like, just us being excited to, like, be at a fest of this magnitude. We uh, Willow played the same time as us. Yeah. And after our set, when we walked back to the green room, we walked past Will Smith. <laughs> and like that is definitely like the most famous person I've probably ever seen in real life and it was funny because like you had to like scan your wristband to get into the yeah, artist area yeah. so we were kind of all in a line and I was first and I saw him and my jaw dropped <laughs> and I turned around and you would just see every other member of our group notice that it was him yeah and the only like Taylor our lighting person she was in the very back of the line and her and Will Smith just made eye contact and Looking him straight in the face, she just went. <laughs> <laughs> I like, just, so shocked. I just kept walking. I was just like, yeah, fucking figures, dude. Were I'm, you like, I love Men in Black. Those yeah, are my yeah, favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's so cool. And I just congratulations on playing Coachella. Thank that's, you. Thank you. That's yeah. huge. And Thank you. I know you guys released an EP, like, not too long ago. Your last record, though, was 2019, A, a Different Shade of Blue. When, what's happening with Knocked Loose right now? Are you guys planning on coming out with a full-blown record? Are you going to continue to release more EPs and go that route? Um, we, we're we don't working know. on music. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, we're always working on music. Everyone knows that we, we write. You know, we've been writing music for years. You know, we don't really know. It's definitely been too long, I will say that, since mm -hmm. we've dropped something. We didn't expect to kind of be like writing the EP this long. Mm-hmm. Um, but with schedules and like tours, it just kind of came up out of nowhere. Um, so the best way that I like to say it without giving too much away is like this year we decided to kind of slow down on touring and just focus on festivals and, um, with the downtime, we are definitely working hard. New yeah. music is, is for sure like a, like it's, it's a, it was the main goal for yeah. this year was to f focus on being creative so 2023 was essential for writing for you yeah. yes for, for sure, sure. And, and we <laughs> have to do that we have to like slow ourselves down or else we'll just keep going you say slow yourself down but you're still playing so many shows you're going out with motionless and white all that i mean shit, yeah. I guess that's how it, that's how it goes like i remember like us all talking you know being like hey guys we should really <laughs> yeah. like we should really take some time here and like what it ends up being is like mm -hmm. still it's like oh flying out for this thing flying out for this thing like here's yeah. this fist here's like this we're not me. touring but this weekend is rockville next weekend is sonic yeah. temple and adjacent festival yeah so, yeah, so like there, there's still a lot but like um we're it's a lot easier to find pockets around it to get together and work yeah on whatever it may be and um but yeah if we if we don't have like a collective conversation of like hey, let's not tour for the first half of the year. We will just always be on the road and no music sure. will ever get done. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys today. Welcome to Rockville. Crossing fingers that the weather's on our side. and uh, It's Florida, you never yeah, know. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You never know what's yeah. going to happen, but know. thank you for, for sitting down with the Power Hour on Access TV. Knocked loose, day three of Rockville. Yeah, thank you. Power!